Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Mann. And this is Larry Evans. And um, I'm hoping that maybe um, Mike, are you here somewhere? Um, if Mike Roberts and Bill Imperial and John Lang and Keith Elliott could come down, that would be really awesome. Those guys make me look good. Um, if you have any questions about mushrooms, this is the guy you want to, um, you want to talk to. Well, actually, I think Mike might want to chip in, but basically, um, we had a vision of the film, and Mike is able to translate it in, um, you know, in his brilliant, uh, you know, on his computer by himself. Um, it's not farmed out to, you know, Korea. <laughs> With, you know, um, we all know what you want. I do. I know what I. Not all, <laughs> especially when I go to restaurants. Um, but I, I think that Mike, uh, you need people to collaborate on the same wavelength, no matter what. And I started off being an animator, so I sort of think that way. Um, in fact, I actually think in terms of storyboards whenever I, you know, make films. And um, but Mike is um, a genius. He really is incredible. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, Ron always, I mean, he, he, he sort of uses the word genius, I think, a little uh, loosely, but uh, he says basically, he comes and sort of says, here's a, a chunk of the film and leaves a hole in the edit that I kind of have to fill up, and, um, it, but he always knows what he wants, and, and that's what's really cool about it, is, is he lets me have the freedom to do kind of whatever, but I mean, I think you, you basically say, it goes here, and, and like the, the little mushroom character is a perfect example. Um, Ron had this idea that he would be a sort of ambassador for the film, and then it was just a matter of kind of, I don't know, showing him a bunch of different little drawings and photographs of right. mushroom characters. Is that true? Yeah. That, that's Gary Linkoff that said that, and Gary, Gary would, uh, with apologies, it ha you had to edit a rather long discussion that he was having with the guy into a few sentences. Right. And what he was talking about was the use of lindane or benzene hexachloride on mushrooms. And it's, lindane is approved for use on uh, vegetables and stuff. It's a, it's a chlorinated hydrocarbon and it breaks down in sunlight. But because mushrooms aren't grown in sunlight, they may sometimes have residual lindane on them. And that's, that, that whole thing was taken out of that context. Yeah, what, what Gary was talking about was tests that showed that there was some lindane residue on mushrooms from a certain batch that became a health issue. And <clears throat> this is pretty old information. I don't know how many years ago this all happened. It was, it was they were talking about events in the past in 2007 when, he, when they filmed this. There, there really is a, uh, you know, a pesticide. The, the, the mushrooms are, um, according to this one test that Gary's referring to, that there was, the mice that were eating these mushrooms were um, produced tumors. And, it came, and they've, we were given a lot of this particular uh, sample of mushroom, but um, that's what is it's the... Wrong, Gary. Yeah, and I think at a point in the film you say that you're following a lot of the rainy seasons. Do you find that a lot of the types of mushrooms are not indigenous to an area, or what's the distribution like? Are there special mushrooms that you really can't get outside of, say, Bolivia or, or so forth? Okay, basically he's saying, uh, uh, how come you keep chasing around after mushrooms, and are the mushrooms the same ones that you keep chasing around after? And uh, we have some really different uh, mushroom ecosystems on the east and the west side of the Rockies. And then we also have a very, uh, actually it's a very interesting, it's almost a continuous ecosystem all the way down the Appalachians across uh, the Caribbean and into the Atlantic rainforest in Brazil. And at the same time we have continuity with a lot of the western species that go down the Sierras and into Mexico and then appear a little bit in the Andes as well. Um, right now, South American fungi are really very little studied, and there's very little expertise that's being uh, flexed down there. 
Um, we've been, I've been going down to uh, Bolivia for four years now, and we have increased by five times the number of, of specimens that are known from the forest. Yeah. Mushroom adventures in Bolivia, yes. Uh, you know, the most exciting thing about um, mushrooms in Bolivia right now is that uh, we're going to, I'm going to be going down and teaching classes to the local people on how to grow mushrooms on agricultural waste and uh, good old urea as a nitrogen source, and they can actually produce a high quality protein from there for about 1% of the energy of raising a pound of cow protein. And at the same time, this will eliminate some of the pressure. People are, are really literally dying from malnutrition and disease because of a lack of protein in this part of the world. And this is a tremendous reason for people to go out and hunt monkeys. Monkeys aren't really very good, you know, or easy to prepare or anything else. But if you don't have any other protein source, they become pretty desirable. So, yeah, well, there's a, the bush meat is, a, is definitely an issue in the area. And we're hoping that by growing mushrooms on a local basis, people will get the protein they need without having to go resort to hunting exotic wildlife. Several species of mushrooms do contain a complete uh, protein and they have all nine essential amino acids. And um, if you'd like more information about mushroom nutrition, they do, uh, they are very rich in minerals and many types of, uh, of course, B vitamins, all your B vitamins come from mushrooms. The other aspect is mo mushrooms are mostly fiber and protein, very little carbohydrate, a little bit, but not much. And um, you can get a full breakdown of all the nutritional value of several different species of mushrooms at the fungaljungle.org uh, website. So feel free to visit us online, fungaljungle.org. <laughs> All right, hey, we're going to the party. You're welcome to um, ask us any questions. And I have to say, Larry is, um, you've got like a whole bunch of stuff downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to support Larry and his ongoing efforts to identify mushrooms. Yeah. Um, Mushroom music. Mushroom t-shirts. He's are you, did you bring the CDs? The CDs. Oh my god. So guys <laughs> not a salesperson, but honestly his C D is like incredible. It's all mushroom music. And it's definitely worth getting. You should play yours. Anyway, thank you for coming. We'll see you.